The buildup of plaque in your coronary arteries can lead to blood clots, which can then cause a heart attack. Doctors may use stents to treat this narrowing due to coronary artery disease. We spoke to Dr. Narosima Rao at Desert Regional Medical Center to learn about the newest developments in stents. The first stent was actually put in in 1986, Giron Rubin stent. That was the first stent that was approved by FDA. It's a metallic spring coil wrapped around the balloon. When you inflate the balloon, the, the mesh gets stretched. And when you deflate the balloon, it remains in the vessel and keeps the blood vessel open. Who would be a candidate for a stent procedure? Anybody that have a plaque buildup in the arteries to the extent that the blood flow is interfering, whether they're having symptoms of angina or people that have the artery completely shut down, not only from a plaque buildup, but sometimes the plaques rupture and close the artery. So we go in and open the artery and put a stent to keep the artery open. Dr. Rao explains the term ischemia. Ischemia means lack of blood supply to a healthy heart muscle. And that lack of blood supply can happen by a narrowed artery interfering with blood flow. If you uh, do an angiogram and if there is an artery that has a more than a 70% blockage, then they were considered to be candidates for this stent. But sometimes we also go to the next step of proving that there is ischemia, not just because of a blockage, especially in the big arteries. So we do that by either stress testing or by measuring pressures within the artery before and after the blockage. How is the stent procedure performed? Through the same sheet in the artery that we do an angiogram, which is just a procedure to diagnose, we put a, a different type of uh, guiding catheter, as we call it, big enough that it can accommodate a balloon through the sheet. And then we pass a guide wire into the artery beyond the blockage. And then over the wire, we insert this balloon that has a stent wrapped on it. Sometimes we cannot advance this balloon beyond the blockage because the stent is bulkier than the balloon itself. So we may have to do balloon angioplasty first to make room for the stent balloon to go through. Dr. Rao discusses the recovery after a stent procedure. Typically, they stay overnight and then go home next day. After a couple of days, typically, you're back to doing normal activity. There's no restriction of physical activity. Although we don't recommend regular vigorous exercise like lifting or really running a marathon uh, for a few weeks after the procedure. Then the lifestyle changes. You have to ask the fundamental question, what caused this blockage? And what do we need to change the course? Because the process can continue to happen even within the stent or in the other areas of the artery that we did not put in the stent. So that's where the risk factor modification, weight loss, exercise, smoking cessation, all these things come. Putting the stent is quite successful. But stent is nothing but a metallic uh, object. And on the stent, there is a polymer and there is a drug. Typically, I'm talking about a drug-eluting stent. And the drugs slowly release into the bloodstream preventing what we call restenosis or scar formation inside the stent. Um, but even after the drug is gone, you are left with a metal. Uh, so there is a possibility of this, what we call stent thrombosis or blood clot formation. Dr. Rao talks about the next generation of stents. The next generation of stents, which are being uh, tested right now, they are bioabsorbable stents. So they're made up of not metal, uh, typically like the chromium cobalt metal, which is the currently used uh, standard, or uh, cobalt platinum in one of the brand, uh, brands, uh, stents. Uh, this is made up of uh, absorbable sutures, which the surgeons, we've been using it for a number of years. So it's uh, the idea of scaffolding the artery with this strong absorbable suture material, which will eventually get absorbed within starting from one year and completion by two years. So you would not even have a metallic object to deal with.